Here we see lung tissue under low power magnification. The tissue itself is stained. The whitish regions are empty space, the microscope light. So evidently there's a lot of space in lung tissue. And we can understand this by considering the function of the lung. The function of lung tissue is gas exchange. The two gases that are exchanged are oxygen and carbon dioxide. We've already learned that all cells need a supply of nutrients and oxygen to survive. And the circulatory system is responsible for delivering these nutrients to all cells. Diffusion is critical to the operation of the lungs. When we inhale, the air in our lungs has a higher concentration of oxygen than the blood does. Consequently, oxygen diffuses into the blood. At the same time, the blood has more carbon dioxide in it than the air that we inhale, so carbon dioxide diffuses out of the blood. The carbon dioxide is then exhaled. The oxygen that diffuses into the blood is carried by red blood cells. The heart pumps these red blood cells around the body. And when the red blood cells get into small capillaries around the body, oxygen diffuses from the red blood cells into the body cells. At the same time, the body cells have been producing carbon dioxide waste, and carbon dioxide diffuses into the blood. The blood carries this carbon dioxide waste back to the heart, and from the heart it is pumped through the lungs where carbon dioxide will be exhaled. Here we see a blood vessel uh, in lung tissue. There, that would be the uh, space where blood would travel through. And as we pan up, now we see some of the lung chambers. These ring-like pieces of tissue, then, are what you get when a hollow sphere is thinly sliced. When we inhale, that space is filled with air, and the oxygen in that air diffuses through the wall of the lung and then through the wall of the blood vessel into the blood. Notice these rings of tissue are different sizes. This is what we would expect if lung tissue is composed of hollow spheres. A thin slice will generate different sizes of rings. So here again we see a relation between the organization of lung cells and their function. Lung tissue is composed of cells that are arranged in hollow spheres and that promotes the exchange of gases, oxygen for carbon dioxide.